The Egyptians believe that you die twice. Once when you take your final breath, and the last time someone says your name. I choose to believe that even if the names of those dear to our hearts are never spoken again, by continuing their legacies, they will always be remembered. On May 22, 2016, I lost the most important and influential person in my life, my dad. I was fortunate enough to have worked with him in a family-owned business for several rewarding and memorable years of my life. It was during this time that we became extremely close. We were bonded over the birth of both my daughters, buying my first home, and the grief of losing my grandparent, his father. In running a business together, we also met a variety of people along the way from many walks of life, which allowed me to witness his interactions with others in amazement. There was never a time that he didn't treat everyone the very same way he himself would like to be treated, no matter who they were. It is the single most important thing my dad ever taught me. A little while ago, his legacy came to fruition as I was standing in line at a grocery store. There was a man in front of me with a cart full of items and a woman behind me with just one. She asked the man in front of me, Can I please jump in front of you, as I'm on my lunch and only have half an hour? He said, can't you just go through self-checkout? There's nobody in line at it. She replied, no, I forgot my wallet and only have cash, which they don't accept there. Still, he refused. I then said, in part hoping he would relent, which he didn't, you can go in front of me. She said, oh thank you. I don't know what's gotten into me. I never forget my wallet, but I'm just not the same since losing my husband. He was only 59. I said, oh my, I am so sorry, and bet you miss him terribly. When did it happen? She replied, just last month, and I don't think I'll ever get over it. Thankfully, I moved in with my daughter, who doesn't want to be alone either, and I don't know what I'd do without her. I then said, it will certainly take time and also be a year of firsts, but it sounds like you and your daughter are fortunate to have each other. And with that, she paid for her item and was gone. It has been said that we are all in a line. In this line of life, someone leaves this world behind every minute, and you or I could be next. We never know how many people are in the line or who is ahead of us. We cannot move to the back of the line. We cannot step out of the line. We cannot avoid the line. So, while we wait in line, we must make every moment count. We must make a difference, make the call, make the time, make our gifts known, make our voice heard, make the small things big, make someone smile, make the change, make up, make peace, make waves, and above all make sure we have no regrets. The bottom line? In a world where you can be anything, be kind. You never know what the person standing next to you is going through, but they are someone else's wife, mother, daughter, sister, husband, father brother, son, or friend and should be treated as you would like yours to be. It is through this legacy of kindness my dad will always remain alive. That's the end of this story. Thank you for listening and watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I would love to read about what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day.